Each winter, Delhi slips beneath a toxic haze. A crisis so predictable, it's become part of the city's calendar. Skies turn grey, the air burns the throat and the world's most polluted capital braces for another season of suffocation. Now this has become a grim ritual of smog season in Delhi and this year is no exception. In early November 2025, Delhi's air quality index surged beyond 500 categorised as severe. That's more than 10 times the World Health Organization's safe limit. But what are the biggest contributors? According to the 2024 Center for Science and Environment, vehicles remain the single biggest culprit behind Delhi's winter smog. The latest 2024 data shows that transport alone contributes 51.5% of the city's pollution load. That's a staggering figure despite years of tighter emission norms and cleaner fuel transitions. Residential emissions make up the second largest chunk, 13.2%, driven by household fuel use, biomass burning and small-scale energy consumption that often escapes regulation. Beyond the city's borders, another factor ignites, literally. Each October and November, farmers in Punjab and Haryana clear fields by setting crop stubble ablaze. Though it's not the top source, stubble burning still contributes 8.2% of the capital's winter pollution as per the same CSE study. And then there's the construction boom, adding its own dust stop. Construction activity now accounts for 6.9% of Delhi's particulate matter, coating neighbourhoods in a fine layer of debris that mixes seamlessly into the city's air. These are the city's invisible polluters, steady, silent and largely unchecked. Now, the health consequences of pollution are staggering. A 2024 study in the Lancet Planetary Health estimated that air pollution causes around 12,000 premature deaths every year in Delhi. A 2023 report by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation estimated that 15% of all deaths in Delhi were linked to air pollution. Doctors report spikes in asthma, bronchitis and heart attacks every winter. Children and the elderly are the hardest hit. For many residents, air purifiers and masks have become as routine as umbrellas in the monsoon. Imagine that. Authorities have responded each year with emergency measures. So construction is halted, vehicle use is restricted and temporarily schools are shut down as are power plants. That's when you see the maximum restriction coming into effect. Yet all of these actions treat symptoms, not causes. Experts argue that meaningful progress requires cleaner public transport, stricter industrial enforcement, regional cooperation to curb stubble burning and investment in renewable energy. Political divisions and economic pressures often, however, stall these long-term reforms. And Delhi's air crisis is not isolated. Look at the bigger picture here. Across North India, cities face the same suffocating pattern, proof that the problem is regional, not just urban. Delhi, however, is the symbol because this is the capital, a mega city where modern growth is colliding with environmental neglect. The haze lifts each spring. You have blue skies returning. For a few months, the city breathes again. But come autumn, come fall, the cycle restarts. A reminder that progress like clean air remains just out of reach. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.